Explain your answer. Here four parts. In part one, y is equal to 4x square. In B part, y is equal to 3 into x square root. In C part, y square is equal to 5x cube. And in D part, p cube is equal to q square. Solution: If y is equal to 4x square. We know that y is equal to kx square. Comparing both equations, find the value of k. On comparing, k is equal to 4. Therefore, y is directly proportional to x square. In b part, if y is equal to 3 square root, 3 x square root. Now we find the value and relation. So we know that y is equal to k into x square root. On comparing both equations, now here we can see that k is equal to 3. So on comparing 3 is equal to k, therefore y is directly proportional to x square root. In C part, if y square is equal to 5x cube, we know that y square is equal to k x cube on comparing k is equal to 5 therefore y square is directly proportional to x cube in last part p cube is equal to q square we know that p cube is equal to k x square then we have on comparing k is equal to 1. Therefore, p cube is proportional to q square. Now, in question number 5, you can see that z square is directly proportional to x cube. When z is equal to 8 and x is equal to 4, find the value of z when x is equal to 9. First of all, write the relation. So, in solution according to given condition z square is directly proportional to x cube removing the proportionality sign this implies that z square is equal to k x cube when z is equal to 8 and x is equal to 4 find the value of constant k putting the values z value 8 now 8 square is equal to k into value of x is 4. So 4 cube. 8 cube is 64. 8 square is 64 and 4 cube is also 64. This implies that k is equal to 64 divided by 64. Now k is equal to 1. If x is equal to 9, find the value of z. We know that z square is equal to value of k is 1 and x is 9. Taking the cube of 9, 9 cube is equal to 729. Now removing the square, so taking the square root on both sides, z square is equal to 27. 729 is 27 square, so 27 square whole square root. Square square root by cancel to each other, then z is equal to 27. In question number 6, now we have given the relation q is directly proportional to p minus 1 whole square and q is equal to 20 when p is equal to 3. Find the value of p when q is equal to 80. According to given condition, p is proportional to p minus 1 whole square. So q is directly proportional to p minus 1 whole square. Moving the proportionality sign, use the constant. This implies that k is equal to q into p minus 1 
होल स्केयर वेन टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एंड पी इज इक्वल टू थ्री फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के पुटिंग द वैल्यू इन गिवन रिलेशन ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल टू के इन टू थ्री माइनस वन होल स्केयर थ्री माइनस वन टू नाउ टेकिंग द स्केयर ऑफ टू इज फोर फोर इज डिवाइडेड ऑन अदर साइड दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट के इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी अपॉन फोर ट्वेंटी डिवाइड बाई फोर इज इक्वल टू फाइव नाउ वी हैव फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ पी वेन क्यू इज इक्वल टू ए टी पुटिंग द वैल्यू इन गिवन रिलेशन क्यू इज इक्वल टू के इन टू पी माइनस वन होल स्केयर वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू इज ए टी इज इक्वल टू वैल्यू ऑफ के इज फाइव पी माइनस वन होल स्केयर फाइव इज डिवाइडेड ऑन अदर साइड नाउ दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट पी माइनस वन होल स्केयर इज इक्वल टू ए टी डिवाइड बाई फाइव एटी डिवाइड बाई फाइव इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन नाउ वी रिमूव द स्केयर सो टेकिंग स्केयर रूट ऑन बोथ साइड दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट पी माइनस वन होल स्केयर स्केयर रूट इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन स्केयर सिक्सटीन स्केयर इज इक्वल टू फोर एंड स्केयर स्केयर रूट बाय कैंसल टू ईच अदर नाउ पी माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू फोर माइनस वन मूव ऑन अदर साइड it will be positive so p is equal to 4 plus 1 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 so the value of p is equal to 5 now in question number 7 y is directly proportional to x cube copy and complete the table y and x table are given so upper value is x and lower value is y now we have to find the solution according to given condition y is directly proportional to x cube removing the proportionality sign this implies that y is equal to kx cube when x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 6 48 now we have putting the values 648 is equal to k into 6 cube 6 cube is to 16 this implies that k is equal to 648 divided by 216 is equal to 3 so the value of k is equal to 3 now we find the other values when x is equal to 3 find the value of y If x is equal to three, find the value of y. Y is equal to value of k three and value of x three cube. Three cube is twenty seven. This implies that y is equal to three multiplied by twenty seven. Three multiplied by twenty seven is equal to eighty one. This implies that y is equal to eighty one. Now, in B part, x is equal to four. Find the value of y. So If x is equal to four and we find the value of y, putting the value in given relation, y is equal to value of k three and value of x four. Taking the cube of four, now four cube is sixty four. This implies that three multiplied by sixty four. Three multiplied by sixty four is equal to one ninety two. This implies that y is equal to one ninety two. in next part y value is given 375 find the value of x so if y is equal to 375 and find the value of x putting the value in given relation 375 is equal to 3 into x cube 3 is divided on other side this implies that x cube is equal to 375 divided by 3 is equal to when 375 divided by 3 is equal to 125 x cube is equal to 125 we find the value of x now we have taking the cube root on both side x cube whole cube root is equal to 125 whole cube root now cube root Cancel out by cube. This implies that x is equal to five. One twenty-five cube is five. So 
in last part value of y is given value of y is 1029 find the value of x so if y is equal to 1029 and find the value of x 1029 is equal to 3 into x cube this implies that x cube is equal to 1029 upon 3 1029 divided by 3 is equal to 343 this implies that x cube is equal to 343 now taking the cube root on both side cube cancel out by cube root and 343 cube is 7 so x is equal to 7 now move the question number 8 in question number 8 given that the mass m in gram f a sphere is directly proportional to cube of here we can see that directly proportional to cube of its radius copy and complete the table now according to given condition m is directly proportional to r cube when remove the proportionality sign m is equal to k r cube now in given condition when two values are given r is equal to 1.5 and m is equal to 6.75 now when r is equal to 1.5 and m is equal to 6.75 putting the values in given relation 6.75 is equal to k into 1.5 whole cube 1.5 whole cube is equal to 3.375 it is divided on other side so this implies that 6.75 divided by 3.375 value of k is equal to 2 now finding the remaining values in first part here r is equal to 2 find the value of m if r is equal to 0.2 find the value of m then putting the value in given relation m is equal to value of k is 2 and value of m is 0.2 whole cube 0.2 whole cube is 0.08 0.08 multiply by 2 is equal to 0.016 this implies that value of m is equal to 0.016 in b part r is equal to question mark and value of m is equal to 0.25 now 0.25 is equal to 2 into r cube this implies that r cube is equal to 0.25 divided by 2 0.25 divided by 2 is equal to 0.125 now taking the cube root on both side then two cancel out by cube root and 0.125 cube root is equal to 0.5 this implies that value of r is equal to 0.5 now in second part here value of r is equal to 0.7 find the value of m putting the values in given relation m is equal to 2 into 0.7 whole cube root now we taking the cube of 0.7 this value is equal to 0.343 now y or m is equal to 2 multiplied by 0.343 2 multiplied by 0.343 this implies that value of m is equal to 0.686 in last part here value of y is 11.664 now find the value of r 11.664 is equal to 2 into r cube 2 is divided on other side r cube is equal to 5.832 now taking the cube root on both side q 
cube cancel out by cube root so the value of r is equal to 1.8 in question number 9 during a certain period in the life on a earthworm its length l is directly proportional to square root of n where n is the number of hours after the birth one hour after n earthworm is born its length is 2.57 cm find an connecting equation number 2 find the length of earthworm four hour after its birth in third part how long take for the earthworm to grow the length of 15 cm now first of all write the given relation according to given condition y is l is proportional to n square root removing the proportionality sign this implies that l is equal to k into n square root here we can know that value of l is 2.5 and n is 1 or so find the value of k 1 square root is also equal to 1 so value of k is equal to 2.5 now in first part connecting equation l is directly proportional to n square root this implies that l is equal to k into n square root putting the value of k this implies that l is equal to 2.5 into n square root in second part if l is equal to question mark and n is equal to 4 this implies that putting in given relation l is equal to 2.5 into 4 square root 4 square root is 2 this implies that l is equal to 2.5 multiplied by 2 2.5 multiply by 2 is equal to 5 in third part l is equal to 15 cm and n is equal to question mark this implies that 15 is equal to 2.5 into n square root this implies that final answer is 6 square root so 6 square root is equal to 2.45 now we have if y is directly proportional to x square and difference in the value of y and x x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3 the difference is 32 find the value of y when x is equal to minus 2 first of all understand the question y is directly proportional to x square and there difference value when x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 3 their difference is 32 now in second part find the value of y when x is equal to minus 2 first of all solve the first two condition now according to given condition y is directly proportional to x square this implies that y is equal to k x square when value of x is equal to 1 this implies that y is equal to k now in second condition when x is equal to 3 this implies that y is equal to k into 3 square 3 square is 9 this implies that y is equal to 9k according to given condition given condition is difference between the values is 32 So 9k minus k is equal to 32. 9k minus k is equal to 8k. 8k is equal to 32. 8 is divided on other side. K is equal to 4. Now find the value of y when x is equal to minus 2. Putting the given relation, y is equal to k x square. This implies that y is equal to k into minus 2. whole square minus 2 square is 4 and putting the value of k is also 4 y is equal to 4 multiplied by 4 this implies that y is equal to 16 okay beta best of luck next video with next lesson inshallah this video is useful for you best of luck
Take care. Allah Hafiz.